doctors which actually push and pressurize patients into transferring two, three, and even four embryos back at one time. Transfers day two or day three embryos. That's a clear red. If we transfer a single embryo, let's assume you have three, we freeze the other embryos. How many embryos should you transfer? All IVF patients want to get pregnant yesterday and they know that the more the embryos they transfer, the better the chance of the embryo implanting. And they also know that embryo implantation is not something which any doctor can control. So doesn't it make sense that instead of buying one lottery ticket, you buy four lottery tickets. So instead of putting one embryo, you put four embryos back, so you increase your chance of getting pregnant. It actually seems a good idea. If you stop and think about it, it's a terrible idea. And what makes it worse is a lot of doctors which actually push and pressurize patients into transferring two, three, and even four embryos back at one time. Terribly irresponsible on the part. And these are usually bad clinics which do day two or day three transfers and aren't sure about the quality of their laboratory. And they fool patients by telling them, oh, the uterus is the best place for an embryo and therefore you shouldn't leave it outside. All this is completely false. All good clinics all over the world will only do single transfers, which is one embryo at a time. And all these are day five or blastocyst transfer because it's only at the stage of a blastocyst or day five does the embryo belong to the uterus. If your doctor tells you to transfer more than one embryo and if it transfers day two or day three embryos, that's a clear red flag, which means he has no confidence in his embryology laboratory and therefore is a bad IVF clinic. You should insist because you've got to protect your own interests. Remember, you shouldn't compare one embryo at a time with two embryos at a time. Because when we transfer a single embryo, let's assume you have three, we freeze the other embryos. We don't throw them away, which means your cumulative pregnancy rate over three transfers with one at a time is actually not only much better than we're transferring two or three at a time, but the complication rate during the pregnancy is much less because the trouble is that twin pregnancies will often end up with miscarriages or preterm deliveries and you don't end up with a healthy baby at all, which is terrible loss.